Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence, Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Welcome to Universal Ver the Jay Group, alongside remnants of Goans and Territory, Kingdoms of Bona and Kumbu, Aquamu. The collapse of the Ghana Kingdom in prompted a group of displaced Sun Inc., known as the Mandes, to move south. Fierce fighters, the Mandes conquered the Bona and Aquamu states during this century, leading war refugees to establish new settlement areas in the Gold Coast. Refugees from the Aquamu state then joined the Bono under the leadership of Anur Asaman. Similarly, from the Bono state in the Adansi district, Ekrakir, Kingdom, Bono Manso, leading to the establishment of states such as Joban, Bikwai, Kumasi, and Kokofu. The Bono state, which played a crucial role in nurturing early Akan states, eventually succumbed to the might of the Asante, a state in. Amidst these migrations and state formations, myths and legends emerged, such as Isa, Nai immortalizing the resilience and unity of the Ekin speaking people. The narrative of the Kulir as a Zorak historical tajari. Hi. Hi. The Kingdom of Jado shaping the diverse and rich cultural landscape of the Aiken people. Myths Isa Ntem Jaikari's remark when he heard that states had formed a united front against him was adapted as the name of that union. Where did the Aiken speakers originally come from? Could it be that they originated from the Middle East and Grado Plateau situated in the north, eastern part of Niger, holds the ancient rod around years ago. This plateau, known as Jaidam to the Aiken people, once served as an oasis in the Sahara Desert. The Tebu, Libyan Berber, Saharans, Guanscaramantes, and the Jai group were the major ethnicities that comprised the state of Jado. The Oyoko, clan royals of the Jai group with the falcon as their totem, ruled the Jaidam state. They engaged in activities such as herding goats, pottery, and trading, making Jado a prosperous kingdom. The Jado Plateau's challenges of the story taking some centuries. This led to the abandonment of Jado by its inhabitants, with many migrating southwards along the Niger Bend. Some Tibu population chose different directions, heading for northern Chad and western Sudan. The Jado Plateau was designated an UNESCO World Heritage Site in, recognizing its cultural significance. Moving to the Wagadu Empire, founded by Mansalt Trade Taxes, the Wagadu Empire, also known as the Ghana Empire, faced a Ferry Texas, Almorvids. The conflict ended in the burning of the capital city. Come by, Sele weakening the empire. Eventually, it was absorbed into the Mali Empire around C. 
The Aegean refugees arrived in the Niger Bend during the decline of the Ghana Empire, dominating the indigenous groups. They absorbed them into their Niger Bend, migrated further south to Gvand, Deja, while the Gons, the Tevis, after a brief stay on the Niger Bagger Bend, migrated for Mont. My Gajajabra, they can speak them in, later branching out to various settlement areas, including the Akwamu State, Zema State, and Osualata. The Gyai group settled in the Ivory Coast, establishing the kingdoms of Bona and Kumbu, Akwamu. As the Ghana Kingdom collapsed in, Mandes Blenink moved south and conquered the Buona and Akwamu states such as Akwamu Doma and Zima. The Akan speaker's origins are a subject of discussion with Dr. 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 Middle Eastern origin and a gradual southwestern journey to the Kingdom of Jado. The Akan speakers having established themselves in the Niger Bend, began to flourish as they absorbed and dominated the indigenous groups in the region. Engaging in activities such as pottery, livestock, and trade, the Ekin ancestors developed a unique matrilineal system that shaped the cultural fabric of their communities. Refugees from the Akwamu Station of solidifying their own states, including Akwamu, Doma, and Zima, under the leadership of Anor Asaman. Similarly, those from the Bona State in the Ivory Coast settled in the Adansi District, Akrokare, and joined the Bono Kingdom, Bono Manso leading to the establishment of states such as Joban, Bekwai, Kumasi, and Kokofu. The Bono state, which played a crucial role in nurturing early Akan state formations, and then state formations, and state formations, and then and 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 unity of the Akan speaking people. The narrative of the Akan speaker's origin as suggested by Dr. Joseph Boki Dankwa adds a layer of intrigue to their historical journey, a journey that spans from the Middle East to the Kingdom of Dido, shaping the diverse and rich cultural landscape of the Akan people. The Jado Plateau situated in the northeastern part of Niger holds the ancient Tudyakan people, once served as an oasis of Sahara Dodo, Guan Scaramontes, and the Jad group were the major ethnicities that comprised the state of Jado. The Oyoko clan royals of the Jad group with the falcon as their totem ruled the Jidam state. They engaged in activities such as herding goats, pottery, and trading, making Jido a prosperous kingdom. The Jido Plateau was a significant trading center on the Jido by its inhabitants, with many migrating southwards along the Niger Bado by its inhabitants of many Yobai and population